Hi, and welcome to the Tripping Scribe. It's Esther. Today I'm still working on this journal that I've made in collaboration with Val's Craft Creations. She has a set of digitals that she actually has four. You'll find all the information in the description below. There are 15 ladies working, 15 or 16, that are collaborating on these four digitals. Mine is cream colored dry flowers. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you the, uh, the digital in just a few minutes. Today, though, we're going to work on making some envelopes. Putting them in the journal and adding some other pockets and stuff too. So please go see all these other ladies and help them out. Give them a like, a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And then go back to Val's launch video and put in there that you have done this for all the videos or the three two or three videos that are showing up each day. So every day we've had a video coming out. I think there's two, three. I don't know. But thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the video. We're going to run through these three real quick. And we're going to use Val's Creations papers to do this. So here are some of the papers that I'm going to be using. So, like I said, I have videos that have these envelopes, how, how I make them, but I'm going to show you again just because we have a lot of new beginners. So this is just a junk mail envelope. I, op I try to open mine at the top so that it this is still intact. I, mean, I got so many. So what I normally do, and I did this time, is why I didn't say think of this a minute ago. I cut it four inches, three inches. And then two, what they're going to do is lay on top of each other like this. And this one may want to, I think I'm going to cut it down to, actually it's a little bit long. So I need my glue book, my glue sticks, and my glue. So what we're going to do is we're going to layer these to make them, to make a pocket similar to this one. So you see it's got three different layers here. You've got the back pocket and the go in and this one and this one. And they're all from one envelope. So you can see actually I did cut them that way on that particular one. So your front page, your front is the most important, but let's see. We're going to start at the back on the back one. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to mark like where this is going to be covered up. So I want my paper to go a little bit lower than that. Same thing with this one. I'm going to put a mark right there. So when you look right here, I want my paper. To come down just a little bit further down so I might be able to use this one yeah I can so see I have plenty of space there and even my quick cutting will be okay So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and glue this one on since I've decided that's the one I'm going to put on there. And I'm just using glue stick. You could use liquid glue. 
Um, need to use that one. So I want the flower to show up more, but you know, I cut it that way, so let me do it this way. I'm going to do my best to line it up. And like I said, you see my mark here? So I could have actually stopped here. Move this up a little bit. Then I'm going to trim this off and try not cut my, to cut my um, envelope. I am just not quite here today. I'm here, but I don't know. So another thing you need to do, we're going to close up this end because it's going to be at the bottom. So I'm just putting a bead of glue right across the edge down there, closing that. So then we're going to take this one, same thing. I only need to come probably about right here because all of this is going to be behind this one. So see, this down here doesn't need covering. So I could use this one. And actually, I think we will. It's a little on the crooked side, but that's okay. You don't need to, um, you don't need to put anything right here as far as is covering it with paper. So I'm anxious to see what you guys have to say about the first video, the cover video, because I did, I used my sewing machine on that one. And I don't know if y'all would like to have more sewing videos or not. So I'm going to use my little hole punch. And I'm just going to stick it in here. Put a little hole right in there to give you a... Um, and you see, I kind of got crooked, so I want my other one to be about the same size. I have done them to where I go one over here, one over there, and then one back in the middle. But I'm going to try this. Well, you know what I could do is kind of put a little mark. And actually, on this second one, I'm just going to cut it all the way through so that you see that background back there instead of the white envelope. This piece is a little bit longer. So I, I do need to cover this whole piece right here. See what I got. I like that. Maybe turn it this way. Yeah. Or I have this that would go also on the front. I think I like this one better. Let's see. Yeah. So I'm not going to glue way, way down. I'm going to see if I can get this like this. I think this was one of the first envelopes that I learned how to make 
Miss D over at Scrapbooking with me is who I saw first do this. So again, I need to put a little glue right here. And since this is coming up, I'm just going to go ahead and glue it under there. And then I'm going to trim it up. I might be able to use this on something else that I'm going to maybe show you in a minute. Well, you know, it helps if you glue it and then let the glue dry before you open it. Okay. So while I'm doing that, let's see. I'm going to put my little marks so I can... I didn't think of this in the past, but it, it actually makes sense now. To do it this way, I don't know, it just came to my mind today. So I'm just going to glue that down, not because you have to or anything, but it does help it. I'm all, I try to use my glue sticks, but they just don't never seem to want to work. So that side's working pretty good. I don't know what happened to the other side. And actually, I wanted that to cut all the way through, too. Okay, so I inked all three of these. My little door steps is what I think about them. So see, when you sit it here, you can tell that this part up here is going to cover. And then over here, the same thing. This will cover that. What we're going to do first is... Make sure you, you're sealed your bottom. I'm going to actually go ahead and do an L, well, not L, a U, a U shape to glue this. So I'm gluing here, 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 and that's going to leave me space to have an extra pocket back there. So I'm just lining up with the bottom here and the sides. I did the same thing with this one. So I inked all the way around. I even did the edges here and across the bottom. Not a lot, but just in case, because I have noticed sometimes they show, you could do it now. So I can go and then I don't have to worry about the bottoms and the sides. I can just do this top part first and then go back and, and do this inking. So that's one, one pocket that we have made. Okay, so this one will work. So what she did was take, and I have a video that I am going to be posting in the next week or so that goes over this, but like I said, I, since this is a video showing the journal, I'm trying to, so I'm going to glue this down. We're going to cover that up right there, so that's not going to be a problem. I want to take my shorter side. And I'm going to do this like a tag. I'm going to cut the corners. And I will leave the descriptions for these other videos, the longer ones, below so that you, you can go and check them out. So then you got your tag top. You just pull this down. Okay. Now look at that. That's going to be perfect. What we're wanting to do is put something down in there. These are these would work, but I don't have. I would like it to go all the way across, and we may wind up doing this anyway. Does that look good on that? Okay. 
This is how I wind up with different things. I see one idea in my head. So then I go. And it just goes wherever. Apparently I didn't cut straight. I need just a little more um that little piece is gonna bug me in there. So this is going to go in there. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to fix this piece first. Because if not, I'm going to start training in a few minutes. So what she did was she took stuff like this and covered up these markings. So see, here's some of them. Just to give you an idea of where I'm going with them. Which reminds me, I do want to stencil this one. I wonder if this one would stencil too well with these others. I'm going to turn it over because you're not going to see the back. It looks good. So I'm just going to take and stencil. this all over. So Lillian, when she did it, she embossed and it, it turned out beautiful. She did use distress inks. I'm um, just, today I got so much going on that I'm trying to do this and get it ready to go for in the morning because I told Val that I would. So I see I need a little bit more here. I want a little bit more. And that was fossilized amber. So I would just cover this up right here, the, the south. But since this is torn, I'm going to take and fold over whatever piece I decide to put there. I'm looking for something. I like the the paper because it's thinner. It won't give as much bulk. And what I'm looking for, I think that one would look good right there. I want it cut. So I'm going to take in fix this corner right here. I'm going to glue this down right about there. And I'm going to have it turn around to the other side. I'm going to come up just a little bit. And I don't need a whole lot over here, so I can trim this down. And that little piece can be used in one of the others. So I want some glue right here. Maybe it will lay down like I want it to. And I'm just going to roll it over. Just like that. So that's covered up that little spot. You could go on and you could put maybe a piece right here. Or the pink to give it more color. I actually do like that. And we'll cut it right about there. So 
I'm just layering stuff on. I have found that this little flap I like to glue it down. You don't have to. You can leave it up if you want. So where did my piece go that we want to inside? Yeah, I think I've done used. So when you get down here, sometimes you get that little catch from the out the other side of the envelope. Just put it down in there. So if you wanted to, you could put just a white or a different color background. You could do like that, but I don't like that. I think what I might do though is change this to the pink because it would show up better. And really, like I said, you don't need all of that in there. So I'm using this as my base to put this in, which when you're not covering the whole envelope, it actually helps because then you don't have excess hanging out. And I did want it to go specifically right there, so... Getting stuck on something. Okay. What I'm gonna do, I'm wondering, do I want to not unglued all that down? So I'm gonna let you see my craziness today. I'm gonna pull this out a little bit and I'm gonna put some glue right around this edge. I don't need to, to glue it all the way in, just some right there to hold the top part like that. Then what I'm going to do is cut this off to fit. So I think some of these little names would go good, but the reason I was saying keep these little pieces because of look, that will fit perfect right there. It would help if I had it in this beforehand, but so. if I can do this. Mm. I'm trying to get that angle. May or may not work. I'm just going to glue this side down. Put more up there. And I did want to look at maybe putting a label. This one, I always like that one. So 
sound like well, this will probably make more than even two videos just because I am having fun. Stick this up under there. Got a little bit of paint to it. Put this another layer, but I think I like that. Okay, we're going to come back and decorate all at one time. These other two should be much quicker. We'll see. So we're going to do what I call the mountain pocket. Let's see. Yeah. So I have my sheet of paper. It's a rectangle. So it could be this small of a rectangle. It could be a bigger one. You know, I have it face down. And then you're going to bring it up here to where you got two peaks and just crease it. So you got one mountain, two mountains. Then you're going to fold this in about there. And you can use your bone folder to squish it down really good. Then you're going to take and fold this other end over here to where it comes to about the edge of that and I'm going to bring my stencil back in because see I want to do a little flowers right there and I'm just going to use the vintage photo try not to get on my mat but when you fold it see you don't need a whole lot so then we're going to do a little bit right here too And I'm trying, I should have a paper under this. It's why my little, well, my desk is a mess, my little mat. So, you get it to here. See where we inked up, right? Those two pages. 
when you open it, it's a very little bit that you you can that you need to ink up if you don't want white. So then you can take and put the left side and the right. You can glue across here, and that will give you a pocket. Or if you want to have pockets and extra journaling space, because this whole sheet you could open up. You could not. You don't have to glue it. What I'm going to do is glue it right across here, across the bottom. Is the only glue that you really need. So now, when you go in to put it, you'll have a pocket here, one there, one there, there, and there. So that one is done. I think it kind of quick up to get past those first two. So this one, my writing is going to be sideways, but I want this to be my top because I like that. So what I'm going to do is turn it upside down. Once again, you have a rectangle. You could use one of these size rectangles. I'm going to use tiny ones. I don't know where they're at right now. But what I'm going to do is take and fold this and meet the edges together. And then I'm going to fold it the other way and do the same thing. Okay, so I still got my pretty side here. I'm going to do, I don't know how well y'all can see this, but I'm just going to put some ink on it so you can see it very, very good. But you don't necessarily have to ink this when you're making them, not this part. So I'm going to take this top corner and I'm going to fold it close to that line. And I'm going to go opposite this one, and I'm going to take this corner, and I'm just going to do less. So see the difference between here and here? Just pick a size and fold it over. What I do is I cut this section off and leave maybe a quarter of an inch. I'm going to cut this one off too. And glue these down. This takes out some of the bulk in your journal and in the pocket. But I found it actually helps to cover up the other side. It's going to be showing. So now what you're going to do, so you got the top over here, you're going to take and cut from the small side into the middle, just like this. Stop right there at the intersection. So then, I'm gonna ink this, I don't know if I need, I don't think I need to. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it right here because this is gonna close up just like this and it will cover up that white spot. And this will fold up and around. So I'm just going to glue this down. I think that I saw this one at Julie. Um, Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs was doing it. I've seen it quite a few times, but she just seems to be the one that I think of when I think of this pocket. So since this is going to be in just a little bit, I'm going to trim this just a hair so it doesn't bind up down there. So see, just a little hair, not much. So I do recommend inking at this point. If nothing else, this part right here. And this one. 
So those will be the two that are hard to get to. So if you want to put a notch for that very last pocket right now is the time to do it. And then what we're going to do, we're going to put glue on this side all the way up to there. And then we're going to run some glue across this bottom. Take this and just fold it over. Rub it down. We're going to do the same thing over here is just go along the edge. And you probably don't even need that on the very bottom. I just have gotten in the habit of of doing it so I put it on there so then this last piece is going to fold over and this might be where you need to trim a little bit I seem to have got it actually pretty good this time so I do three sides again you don't necessarily have to do right there but I do I don't, just out of habit you're making that U shape again So you may be a little crooked. You can just trim it up. And this one is done. I think what I want to do here is I'm going to put three big dual things. These are not my good tweezers. I think I might want one right here and one right there. And I'm going to put one there just because. So I'm going to do a smaller one here so you can still see a little bit of the, the inside of the flower. I'm going to do a bigger one there. I'm going to do a little one up here. I think I'm going to leave that one like it is because it has some decoration. This one, that would look cute too. I don't know that I like, I don't have anything to cut the holes out. So what I'm doing is just giving it a little bit of grunginess across there. Well, it's not quite so bright either. I think I'm going to glue this down and I'm just going to put my glue on the back here that way. See, if I had have actually kept my train of thought, I would have realized that that could have been could have been a pocket. That's okay. I'm just going to fold that around. So this little circle, I bought this in a set. It seems to be just the perfect size to get them corners. But you can use the bigger ones too, you just do the same thing, see what I'm doing.
that much. This looks like it needs to be darker. A bit like that. I think I like it. I'm actually going to use some of this to put the lace down. It seems to hold better. And so I'm going to put that. My voice a little bit more crooked. Have a little. I like this one too. I like them all. I do need to put a little something behind it. So do I want to put something like this under it? Give it some more color. The angle's not quite right. We put some blank on this one. So now I have this one. I'm looking to see what I'm going to I've got a little piece of lace. Now, just because my hands are not very good at fussy cutting, I'm not cutting this out around the line. So what I'm doing is I'm putting the extra distressed ink to kind of cover that up.
welcome to Crooked Bow. No one ever had them days where it just don't seem like you know how to cut. So then you start cutting and you got nothing left when you get done. I like this part, but that, the way that is, because I cut off some of it, is not working in my mind very well yet. I may put something else right there. So I actually want these to figure that before I put it in. I want them be kind of frayed and all over the place. Like that one too. So I'm just creating layers here with what I got. So I want to put some bling up here, but if I do, I'm thinking it's going to get knocked off. So I'm not going to put any up there. I just paint my door right. Get over there. Because I got glue on my tweezers. Cheryl, um, she has a YouTube channel. Cheryl, I can't say her last name, I don't think. Cheryl Talfus, she says to use hand sanitizer to get glue off of your scissors and stuff which really surprised me so now we have I have no idea if y'all can see that right there have one more to decorate some kind of way and then we'll look at putting some of this in the journal I no, I like this. I'm going to cut that part off though because I don't have scissors to make it look better. And then I'm going I'm going to try this. I have inked up my lace before, just trying to get it looking older, but what I'm looking for, and it's not coming through that way. It's maybe 
it would come out on there, but I didn't want to. I mean, I want it to look used, but. I do like that though. So you can even use these little bitty pieces that you thought might be scrap. I'm trying to bunch this up a little bit. So I think what I'm going to do is leave this one alone before I mess it up because I like it. It's pretty. So I think I'm going to stop here. I was going to put some in the journal, but we've already taken almost an hour. So I thought we would just make an extra video. So we may have two, three more. I don't know. But I do want to say thank you for being here and for watching. And please, please go check out all the other collaborators' videos and let them know that you've been there. Leave a comment and hit the like button and subscribe because they will be coming out with a lot more videos.